The developer of the Colliding Comb Synth, a plugin we used in episode 1 of 3 Producers 3 Free Plugins, released Iterative Syn Cluster. This is an additive synth and it inspired me to do this video showcasing some of my favorite free additive synths. So if we look at Iterative Syn Cluster, that's how it sounds by default. And then this screen is the most important one and the one I understand by far the best. The rest I'm a bit confused by, honestly. This screen controls the overtones of the waveform we're going to create with additive synthesis. So if you just have the first overtone, the first partial, it sounds like this. That's just a sine wave. And now what we can do here is we can create other sine waves as overtones. Okay, that's basically how this works, right? You can shape your tone by changing the overtones. You can shape your tone by controlling the overtones. Organs are pretty easy to make with this. For example, I made this patch. And if we add some effects, it actually sounds... Sounds like a pretty decent organ. I also made this weird patch. And the weird thing is like if you start playing around with these other controls, then that's how you get such weird sounds. Like probably because I adjusted the semi scaling here. So sine wave does not follow the harmonic series anymore. Let's move on from this kind of clunky, but also interesting to use free additive synth and go to my favorite free additive synth, Arido. First of all, I want to show some of the presets because I just love the presets in this plugin. Again, this is an additive synth, so in this area here, we control the overtones, the harmonics. Honestly though, I mainly use this one for the presets. You can kind of tweak them a bit, like... Let me know if you want an in-depth breakdown of this one. Another free synth with additive capabilities is this Ocean Swift OSS Enterprise comes with four oscillators and you can decide for each oscillator if it should be analog, digital or additive. Also, let's look at some presets of this one. This one doesn't seem the most stable to me, so it's not the most fun to use. Another one that is kind of based on additive synthesis is this Legacy Phosphor by Audio Damage. This is a Legacy version, so keep that in mind. But it has some nice sounds. Let's listen to some presets. Alright, but now I have a final question for you. Do we even need all of these free additive synths? Especially if we want to design our own sounds. If you could actually just use Vital 
if we go into this editor here, you see these lines? These are exactly the same thing as we just looked at, overtones. So if we zoom out here, delete all of these, all gone. And now we start fresh, we get a sine wave. Not sure what this one is. This is exactly the same harmonic series as we just had a look at in all of the other additive synths, but just honestly easier to design with. That's additive synthesis. And that's how easy it is to design an additive patch in Vital. Looking at this and knowing that Vital is a wavetable synthesizer, I even got the idea to go a bit further. What's the difference between additive synthesis and physical modeling synthesis? Well, from what I understand, my main source of knowledge being the object tutorial by Reason Studios, the difference between additive synthesis and physical modeling synthesis is that we control how these partials decay over time, how these harmonics decay over time. So I had the idea of just adding more keyframes to this wavetable and starting to adjust how these harmonics decay. And that's how I made this patch, which is just a proof of concept. I made this patch where I have four keyframes and you can see how the harmonics develop over time. And then we just map this wavetable progression to an envelope and we get an instrument that sounds like this. I mean, it sounds like this if you add some additional effects and stuff. And I think that sounds pretty good, isn't it? It sounds surprisingly close to something I might find in the object synth I was talking about earlier. So I think that's pretty cool, and that's it for today. Bye.